is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part 6 of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on reinstalling Windows XP. So now in the reinstall process, Windows has gotten us to the point where it needs us to give some input. There's about 33 minutes left. There are some regional options that you can customize. Most people in the United States won't need to. It's the way you handle money, time, dates, and so on. So for most people, that's pretty standard languages, advanced things. You probably don't want to fool around with those. We'll get out of that. We'll click Next. Now you want to type in a name and an organization if you like. You don't really have to type in an organization. Now we'll click Next. Now here's where we would put in our Windows product key. I hope you'll understand if I blank out this part when I type in my key. So at this point you would type in your product key and I'll join you on the other side. So now here we are on the other side of putting in our registration code. Now you can give the computer a name. Since this is actually a virtual machine on my Mac, I'm going to put uh, and it's made with Perils desktop for Mac. I'm going to bypass doing the password right now. Click Next. Now here we're going to set the date. I'm in Central Time. Here we go. And that's the correct time. I've got to check to adjust for daylight savings time. I'll click next. And now Windows will go on for a while and do some more installation. Now, Windows gets to network settings. Unless you have some custom settings you want to use, you're best served to just click next. Now, if you have a network in your home, as I do, type in the name of your work group. If you have a domain, use the domain. Most of you will probably have a work group. And then click Next. So now Windows will take care of your basic network settings. Now when Windows install gets to the very end here and we're very close, it will reboot the system and Windows will boot for the first time with our fresh clean install. And so in the next segment, I'll cover finalizing our reinstall. Get ready to reboot and that concludes part six.